start out, I would start out um, doing a body scan, noticing the contact of the back of my body with the floor, so I notice right away that this leg and hip are more released into the ground, and you can probably see this foot is, the right foot is a whole much, it's low. So I get to lie on the floor and see how how have I been using my body? Um, so, in order to bend my knees, I've already got my feet rotated out to the side and drag my feet up. I have my knees bent, feet to standing, knees approximately hip width apart, and approximately a foot length from my ass. Okay, could you redo that one more time? Yes. I want to get aside. Right. So start with your legs flat. Okay, and one more time. So legs rotate out to the side, and I'm just going to drag my heels up as if they were on railroad tracks. And then I wind up, my knees pop up, knees approximately um, hip width apart, and feet approximately a foot length um, away from my butt. Um, if I have my feet too far forward, that is um, going to get in my way, and if they're too close to my butt, that will get in my way. So, so you'll feel kind of the you feel the and position. Play with it. The wonderful thing about this is, is it's what feels right. If I were to wind up with my feet down here, okay, I've seen this happen. Like people with knee replacements, this is probably the best they can do. But when I essentially intend my um, feet to have contact with the ground and I am intending to push through with my whole foot, I'm not going to get very far if my feet are too far away. Mm -hmm. And if I have them all the way up here, first of all, my knees really do not like that. And secondly, when I... Um, if again, if I try and push through my feet, I'm having trouble, and this isn't peeling the bones up. This I don't know what this is, but it's not nice. So functional, I'm gonna be about here, and I because my feet want to pronate, I will always dink around and want to get. A semblance of an arch there, so I'm pushing through my toes and my heels. And, uh, just keep, all I'm doing is pushing with my feet. There is no work here. See? Jelly. Okay, keep pushing. And I'm thinking of lifting that string of pearls up. And sometimes, if I've been driving or something, I can barely get my ass off the ground. And other times, this is going up nicely and I'm actually now on about the back of my neck which is that's one of my places gives me the opportunity to work it so if I bring my arms up and I've got I'm gonna put the back of my hands together if I this is creating um, a constraint so that when I move my hands in a small circle that is going into that vertebra. It's got nowhere else to go. And depending on where I put my hands in this plane and where I'm pushing with my feet, I can get and work different vertebra. So coming the real juice of this is coming back down again as I intend each vertebra to get laid down with that extension and some of the vertebra come down as a plank because I don't have differentiation and as I hit the ground all of me rolls down legs and I have more contact with my shoulders everything this is this is a fabulous low back um, release. Say nothing to do with abs. Nothing to do with abs. So, 
next.